Happy Saturday, everybody. This is a pick a card reading for today's Saturday, November 20th. You pick a card. It's your main energy, but I do pull all cards together. And the full moon eclipse in Taurus was yesterday. I did post that video, so you should watch it if you did not. And um, November 20th birthdays, we'll do your reading next. Okay, if you pick card number one, you have the six of rods. This is a good card, okay? And what I feel is either there's two kind of energies I'm picking up here. Either you are coming out of a, I want to say you felt hurt by someone, betrayal, or a very severe um, ending, and um, you're starting over again. So you're more confident, you're moving forward, okay? Okay. But there is, if there is a dicey energy today, because I do feel there can be, um, well, there's good and bad today is what I'm picking up. I mean, there's an energy of a Gemini. I feel there is some kind of new money coming in. Maybe it's a winning, maybe it's um, something you've been waiting for. It's a new emotional path. But this is the calm before the storm is what I'm picking up here. For some reason, I feel like this card should be in reverse, okay? Um... So there's a storm warning coming up. Um, you may be surrounded by a lot of people, okay? You're in the spotlight somehow, and there is luck on your side in that. But be careful. There can be a quick um, either betrayal or someone hurts you. or um, Also, you could be a little accident prone, so watch where you kind of um, watch your footing, Okay. There is a storm warning coming up, but the energy is still pretty good. There is success and luck here, okay? Card number two, Major Arcana of the Hermit, important day for you. Now, this is to me, trust your intuition. You may be alone in your thoughts. Maybe you want to do something. Maybe you want to purchase something. Maybe there is something you're kind of looking at big picture or you're a little bit stuck in your comfort zone. Um... You know, you have the harvest, you have what you need, but you're kind of um, worried about expanding is what I'm feeling. But trust where you're being led, okay? Easy come, easy go. That's life. So taking risks sometimes is going to be important. But I do feel, follow your intuition. I do feel that there is some um, advice may be given. Talks will be important, but follow your own advice and your intuition. Uh, good news is um, coming. You may be celebrating, you're just allowing some negative thoughts to come in. And when we start overanalyzing and that, then we, all these, I mean, you know, we go from A to Z and we make mountains out of molehills. A fast pace is coming up. Something may start moving really quickly too, okay? Card number three, you have the Knight of Swords. Very fast moving energy. Um, I do feel that this day could be something quickly could come in. You could be very happy and then something comes in. There could be an argument. There is some hostile people around you. This could be an intruder. Somebody comes in, um, very fast moving energy. This could be some kind of news or something suddenly could happen. I, I do feel some hostilities around too. A lot of scattered energy. I, uh, I just see a lot of chaotic scattered energy around. Now, there can be a good business deal coming through or something um, like that. I, I pick up the energies of a cancer. This is the time to take your power back too, okay? So I do see, um, you know, powerful and in the midst of maybe some hostilities around. So very possible. Very fast moving energy too. All right. Six of Rods, the Hermit, and the Knight of Swords. Okay. I do feel we've got some endings here, okay? We're giving up something. Uh, we're moving along from pains, hurts, or we're starting over, okay? Maybe something was kind of bad luck or something didn't work, and now we're more confident we're moving forward, okay? Uh, we got advice around us, talks, counsel, I want to say. But again, um, our own wisdom and our intuition is going to be important, I do feel we will be taking our power back. Can be a fast-moving day, too. Yeah, there are um, times we're feeling a little bit trapped and stuck, but I think this is in our own thoughts as well. Uh, making a sound judgment call is going to be important today. There is some kind of rebirth. We're coming to the end of something, and a burden will be lifted, and I do feel we'll get a lot done. 
Um, there is a possibility of abundance here. Lots of wishes coming through. Manifestation. Uh, can be some intensity in a relationship. I do feel that too. Not everything's going to turn out the way we thought it would be. I think it's going to be more positive, okay? We will gain more clarity. We're just uh, kind of like feeling a little bit insecure or unstable with some things. This can be somebody coming in from the past, all right? I do feel a small wish will come to fruition. And I do feel that there is some plans. Maybe if we don't do it today, we may do it in the next four months, okay? So I do feel that kind of energy coming through too. Um, you know, we are kind of spiritually evolving here. Some of us are dwelling more into our pr prayers. We're uh, paying attention to spirit and divine guidance. And there's a lot of uh, possibilities out there. If one door closes, another will open. If that door doesn't open, a window will open. Try something that you haven't done before. So kind of getting out of the comfort zone as well. There's a lot of different possibilities we haven't tried either, okay? All right, so that is the reading for today, Saturday, November 20th. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. Happy birthday if you're born today, November 20th. This is a quick and general reading, your soul or your theme, and your wish card. Your soul or your theme is the Six of Pentacles. Okay, this is good with finances. This is good with um, charity work and also sales. Balancing your energies. Very nice energies as well. Very giving energy. Sometimes just when you least expect it or you need money, It'll come in the nick of time is what I'm feeling here. Now, there can be some delays, okay? You have to follow your intuition this year as well, especially when it comes to finances. Um, I do feel that this is a year of major decisions and moving forward. And these are travel plans. Some of you may be investing in a significant travel or journey. Um, I do feel for work, school, and career, you're in your element. You are attracting a good... Um, um, uh, and attracting a good reputation here. Some people may think you have the best ideas. If you have your own um, business too, I do feel you'll be doing very well as, as, as well. You have a good aura here. When it comes to finances, if you have a court case, it looks like there'll be some talks on the table and um, a fair settlement is what I'm feeling. For some of you, this is a major purchase um, decision um, and, or, or you're signing some kind of a loan. So it looks good. Your balance will be restored with finances. When it comes to love, if you are single, I do feel that you will, may meet someone through work or this is a client. So I am feeling that kind of energy. I do feel that, um, also this person could have some kind of money and gift you a lot of, uh, you may be showered by gifts by someone. Okay. Um, breaking free of the old way of um, viewing love too. Now, I do, uh, for the ones that are in a relationship, you may may you may have a significant travel um, trip, vacation this year too. You will successfully complete your endeavors together as a partnership. Um, a new beginning is coming. For all relationships, the ones that cause you stress, the ones that are not fair, it is time to recalibrate and pick and choose who your friends are. Um, others may come to you asking you for money, asking you for help, and that could stress you out. So you have to do yourself first too. I do feel that energy. Okay. Your wish for your solar year is the wheel of fortune. Wow. It's a yes. For most of you, it's a yes. And this is going to require, it's going to be some quick movement. Okay. And some kind of adjustments. Um, there is luck on your side here. So it's yes. The important numbers for your solar year, 9, uh, 21, 99, 11, 2, 22, 10, 66, and six. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed solar year ahead. Everyone else, a wonderful Saturday and bye for now.